Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines down here on a windy day in Melbourne, Victoria. We're at the Anchorage Marina at Williamstown. We've caught up with Scott O'Hare, who's the owner of Aussie Boat Sales and importer of Rabalo Boats. Rabalo are a serious fishing boat, so let's take the 206 Cayman for a run. Rabalo are owned by Chaparral and Chaparral are now the biggest sports boat manufacturer in America and hold market share. They're number one in the states for sports boats. They've been going for 50 years. Uh, 48 years ago, Rabalo was founded in America um, and Chaparral acquired them in 2000. Um, the owner of uh, Chaparral, a fellow by the name of Buck Pegg, he was the founder. Uh, is actually a mad keen fisherman and didn't have a solid fishing boat brand and that's what he was looking for and Rabalo had some excellent credentials at the time so uh, then he basically after acquiring it did a full redesign um, and has come up with some amazing product. Every Rabalo um, has some standard DNA features bronze through hull fittings, tinned wire, um, they used uh, Kevlar in their construction. Um, the hulls are, are called Hydrolift, so they're a unique stepped hull design which are a very soft riding hull. So they are soft and dry. Um, they've got high free boards. Everything has self-draining decks, big kill tanks, huge fuel capacities. Um, every single Rabalo design is for offshore fishing. So it's a Rabalo 206 Cayman. Um, there's three boats in the bay boat range, um, the 206, 226 and 246. Um, uh, Rabalo won an, an award for the Cayman when it was released as being uh, an innovation award at the Miami Boat Show. Fundamentally, there's quite a few bass boats getting around, but bass boats don't work all that well if you're in rougher conditions in a bay like Port Phillip Bay or Western Port or uh, you know some of the other rougher conditions perhaps up north. So they've created a boat that you can go through the chop and the rough water to get to your favourite tributary or favourite fishing spot. Um, we have a lot of uh, owners of the bay boats will also just use them for bottom fishing in the bay uh, because they've got a beautiful hull under them. They're for a, a, a big bass boat, they're actually very dry uh, and um, when you actually uh, have a look through all of the features of the boat um, as a fishing platform they're absolutely outstanding. Um, it's got a fairly sharp entry um, and then a variable dead rise to still give you excellent stability. Um, I wouldn't put the bay boat in the same category is our full center console offshore boats in terms of the um, the quality of the ride in really rough conditions um, but uh, for a um, extended bass boat it is a pretty phenomenal ride uh, one of the things that Rabalo do really well is a, a patented um, hull design called extended v-plane so there's actually additional hull uh, planing surface that extends past the engine which which gives it a quick planing times. So a real feature, this particular boat today has got a 135 horsepower four stroke motor. It's rated to 200, but everybody who gets on it with the small engine is amazed that for a boat of its size, that it's, it's still got plenty of grunt and good planing times for a small engine. And obviously that means it's lighter, it uses less fuel uh, and it's less expensive to purchase if you can put a smaller engine on it. If you're a bit of a maniac and you want to put a 200 horsepower on the back of it, it'll handle that no problem.
you know, it's got the live weld tanks, it's got the kill tanks, it's got lockable rod storage, it's got huge um, fishing platforms, everything's moulded in, uh, the storage is fantastic, uh, there's extra seating that um, disappears and becomes casting platform. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think it's, just, it's got an anchor locker, um, there's a lot of little one percenters in that boat that make it uh, probably, I believe, the new standard for that type of boat. We're very lucky because Buck Pegg, who founded Chaparral and now owns Rabalo, he's still on the production room floor. He's 72 years old, he's a passionate guy and a lot of his staff and his design team are the same. So basically they don't compromise, they just get it right and they work hard to get to put quality product down. The construction, um, the, the finishes, the way they do things, the materials they use, they, they don't back off. So you are getting genuinely good value for money and sometimes you have to pay a little bit more but you know look at any of our boats 10 years down the track and they're still fantastic to look at and they're all in excellent condition if they've been looked after. Yeah, well, you can start off probably about 75,000 on a 206, um, and then you can, the sky's the limit, you know, obviously depending on electronics and engines and things and trailers. Um, average at the moment is between 90 and 100,000, um, and that's probably with about a 175 horsepower motor. At this, at this stage, in order to keep pricing under control, we're looking after the Rabalo product predominantly from Melbourne, from our Williamstown location here at the Anchorage. So the best place to go is the Aussie Boat Sales website, www.aussieboatsales.com.au. We do have a landing page for Rabalo, um, but the Rabalo website, uh, factory website is also very, very good, and that's just www.rabalo.com. So if you want information, you can go to any of those places.